Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 26, 2020, Special Confirmation Edition, as we focus upon 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 through 17. And how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. St. Paul is talking to Timothy, a pastor in training, so to speak. Notice how St. Paul starts with Timothy's childhood and how Timothy started to know the Bible. The Bible, God's Word, is to be taught as soon as possible. This is why we use the Bible in our junior high confirmation class. But one shouldn't just wait until junior high confirmation class to start reading the Bible. How soon can you start with the Bible? You start as infants, and you read to them God's Word. The sooner the better, that people get acquainted with God's Word. Why? St. Paul answers that question, which are able to make you wise for salvation. Parents want their children to be with them in eternal life, so parents need to start that education process early. However, there is one disturbing trend I've seen among some parents. Some parents will probably say, well, we'll let our children decide when they get older whether they want to believe and trust in the Bible or other type of religions. The problem with that is what are the children learning? They're learning that God's Word is not that important. So, what are you teaching your child? Christianity is not that important. Instead, when you read to your child as an infant, when you study God's Word as a, at a young age, you are saying, this is important. So when children are exposed to God's Word at an early age, they receive that message. St. Paul also mentions faith in Christ Jesus. People can read the Bible from cover to cover. They can even have the Bible memorized from cover to cover. But without faith and trust in Christ alone, it does not give salvation. Faith in Christ saves. St. Paul also notes in verse 16, All scripture is breathed out by God. God spoke words. This shouldn't surprise us because this is how God created he spoke. Let's go back to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 3. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God created life with a word. But for Adam, something different also happened. God created man, but then God breathed into man. Let's pick it up from Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Are the scriptures the word of God, the breath of life, so to speak? Consider what St. Peter says to Jesus in John chapter 6, verse 68. Simon Peter answered Jesus, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Yes, God's word, the Holy Scripture, is the breath of life that God gives to us. So in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, all Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. So God's word is for teaching, teaching us how to receive eternal life as a gift. 
so that we may learn, so that we know what to do and what to avoid that would jeopardize this beautiful gift given to us. God's Word teaches us about who Christ is, what Christ has done for us, what Christ is still doing for us today, and what Christ will do for us in the future. We are given these words, these promises of God, this very life coming from God for a purpose. Verse 17, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. We are only complete, or you could say made perfect, through faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is the first and most important good work that we receive. So God's word shows us our salvation in Christ Jesus. So we continue to teach God's word. We continue to gather around God's word. We continue to tell others about God's word. For God's word always points to Christ Jesus points to our Savior. So from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 through 17, and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Join me again tomorrow as we continue with our daily devotions. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church. 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.